In this video, I'm going to teach you, in my opinion, seven ways you can reduce the need to see a chiropractor. Now, my name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 20 years. Why would I be teaching this to you? I genuinely want to help you. I'm not going to eliminate the entire need for chiropractic because people have enough traumas, enough stress, and enough reasons to see a chiropractor. And I believe that you should be able to see a chiropractor for things you have no control over, not for things you have full control over. So that's why I'm teaching you these things in the video. The first thing you want to do is to get an excellent pillow. Now, I made another video and that talks in detail about getting a good pillow. But the number one concept that you want to get down is your spine needs to be in good alignment when you're sleeping. So if you're a side sleeper, you need a pillow that's as wide as your shoulders to your neck. If you're a back sleeper, you need support in the back of your neck so your spine stays nice and straight. The unfortunate thing is that choosing a pillow is like choosing a pair of blue jeans. There's probably a pair that fits you perfectly. You just got to figure out what brand it is. So the number one thing is get a good pillow. The second thing that you need to do to reduce your need for chiropractic is to strengthen your core. Now most people believe that the core is your abdominal muscles and that is absolutely not true. The, the core includes your hamstrings, your gluteal muscles, your back muscles, the latissimus dorsi. So the thing is is that what I would recommend as a beginner program for most patients is to start with planks, side planks, and bird dogs. I teach all my patients how to do this. This is the beginning step of training your core to be strong. A stronger core obviously will hold your body in better alignment. The third thing that you want to change is to start fast walking. Now when I tell patients that I want you to start walking, almost all of them say that they do. They'll say, oh I walk my dog, or I walk from my car to your office. That's not walking. What I'm talking about is a 10 minute walk every single day at a fast pace. You want to be going at a fast pace, just short of walk of running. Now what this does is it actually creates a pumping action in the spinal discs. The second thing that it does is it helps your hips. Most people have hip problems and what ends up happening is the first sign of getting hip arthritis is a lack of ability to extend your hip and internally rotate your hip. This is all benefited by fast walking. And when I say fast walking, again, it is just short of running, swinging the arms, taking big strides, and you will find that 10 minutes a day is more than sufficient to help with this. The fourth thing that all of us should be doing is creating in our body an anti-inflammatory situation. Chronic inflammation leads to chronic inflammation of joints, which leads to pain and muscle spasm, which of course necessitates us to see a chiropractor. If we have a diet that is an anti-inflammatory diet, and all it takes is to Google anti-inflammatory diet, you'll figure it out, you can start to create less inflammation in the body. But the most important supplement that you can take would be fish oil and most people need to take anywhere between two to three grams of fish oil per day. Now the big situation is to find a product that does not involve uh, the feeling of the burpees or burping up fish. I have personally found that the Soroyal products with orange uh, have no burp taste. We give it to our children and they don't have any problems with it, but you need to take, start taking two to three grams of fish oil per day as well as eating an anti-inflammatory diet your whole body's inflammatory response will go down and you'll feel much better. Number five, the fifth thing that you need to do to reduce your chances of seeing a chiropractor would be to reduce the effects of mental stress on our body. Now, it is literally impossible to get rid of the things that cause us stress. If you're having family dis problems, if you're having work problems, I, it's easy to say just get rid of your stress, but that, that's unrealistic. Well, what I'm talking about is getting rid of the negative effects of stress on your body. So the stresses still occur. It's just that it doesn't affect your body in a negative way. Now, personally, with myself as well as patients, I have found that deep breathing on a regular basis helps this. You just have to Google or YouTube the Wim Hof method, and what this involves is 30 deep forced breaths 
After that's done, then there's a series of holding your breaths and letting the air out. So when I say deep breathing, because obviously everyone's breathing during the day, what I'm saying is to have literally just two minutes where you inhale deeply and then exhale. So it'd be simple. It looks like this. That's all you do, 30 repetitions, and at the end there's some other details that you can look into if you're interested. But I have found that when patients literally take two minutes out of their day and do that, it has a very positive effect. They feel fantastic afterwards. Many people feel actually lightheaded. I have done experiments with patients where we take their blood pressure. I have them do these breathing exercises and take the blood pressure afterwards. Their blood pressure goes down. So the thing is, is that the Wim Hof method of breathing has been very beneficial in not reducing stress, but reducing the effects of stress on our body. The sixth and most difficult thing to do to reduce your need for chiropractic is to just lose weight. Now this is much easier said than done and I can only empathize with people to, that try to lose weight and have a difficult time with it. This is not an easy solution. Uh, if you need extra help, there's lots of uh, people out there that can help you. Uh, there's obviously medical weight loss clinics. I have personally not seen many patients have long-term success with that, but most of the clinics like a Weight Watchers or something like that that teach people how to eat and teach people for the long haul how to eat, these are the things that need to be done in the long run with regular exercise. Now. Everybody knows how to lose weight on paper. It's, it's quite easy on paper. You simply eat chicken, fish, beef. You, re, you eat vegetables, occasional fruit. You don't eat complex carbohydrates like spaghettis, pastas, and bagels, and cookies, and all those things. You don't drink Diet Pepsis. You drink water. On paper, that's easy to do. But when it comes to real life, it is difficult to, to continue to do that but you do the best you can. And what I've told patients is that if you can try to get 80% of your diet good, and once in a while you're maybe not eating so good, that's much better than 100% of the time or 90% of the time having a bad diet. So you do the best you can, but on paper, everyone knows how to lose weight. The biggest challenge is the actual doing. So, but whatever it takes, if you can lose weight, you're just going to benefit your musculoskeletal system and not need a chiropractor as often. Number seven, and this is something that you can literally do yourself or go spend a lot of money with classes, it doesn't matter, whatever you like, is to do some type of Pilates and yoga. Now, I don't really have a favorite per se, I don't care if you do yoga, I don't care if you do Pilates, both of them say that they're doing different things, but I found that most of these things are more similar than they are different. But if you were to just go on YouTube and type in beginner yoga routine and just start doing it, you will find a lot of benefit. We sit at desks all day. We're very inactive. We don't move our joints. The only real true benefit of yoga and Pilates is they do cause some type of stretching and strengthening of our muscles. If it's something that you like to do, that's great, but I would think that if you were to do yoga in combination with chiropractic, you would find that you'll just need the adjustments less often. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, just hit subscribe. If you want to contact us, my website is www.camarillochiro.com. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.